Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to BPO Interview Tutorials. And uh, today our topic is related to design trend analysis. Like, uh, if I want to design a trend analysis, like where the performance of that particular associate is trending with the help of uh, icons and with the help of conditional formatting. So I will be teaching you that so that you will get to know what do you understand by trend analysis, and that is much required. Uh, to be implemented in the performance report if you are publishing for the individual team lead so guys uh, before starting to the video again i would like to tell you everyone please do like share subscribe my channel and click on bell icon so that you guys will get the notification for the video okay guys without wasting time we will start our particular session or else tutorials on uh, trend analysis and that will be based on date you guys can also prepare with the help of week you guys can also prepare with the help of tenuity it totally depend on you like what data you are pulling from your raw dump so today we will be preparing this trend analysis uh, with the help of date so let's start so this is the same data which I have used in my last video that is related to the uh, week uh, date wise graph uh, like how we can show the graph uh, graph wise performance okay so let's pull the same data I'm just applying pivot over here so just insert and click on pivot and uh, select it now you need to pull the employee name uh, in the row done you need to pull the defect count in the values and you need to pull dates in the column so this is the data of uh, from 1st of October to 7th of October so I just pull this data and what I will do I will just select the entire data and I will paste it uh, just here near to it okay done I will convert the name with raw table to no uh, associate name or else employee name and this is the entire data guys fine so what i will do i will just uh control x if i do control x and just move it to one step down reason behind that is i just want to sort it uh, largest to smallest so i will select the entire data of grand total i will go to home i'll click on sort and i'll click on largest to smallest if I'm keeping this grand total also they will sort the grand total value also with the entire value like 27 so that is the reason I just removed it and I can kept that at the same place I'm just giving the borders and uh, resizing it done so now this data is prepared what I will do after name I just enter one more row okay I just entered one more row uh, or else you can select this and right click and click on insert uh cell shift cell right side done and what you need to do just push this grand total to the starting okay so i just push this grand total in the starting and uh, now what i will do now i just want to uh, convert this into the percentage because i just want to show, show the trend and i just want to show the contribution so what do you understand by contribution contribution means Kunal got 11 errors I just want to see on which date he gave this contribution on which day he got the errors like 1st of August he gave one contribution which means uh, one error he got he got five errors he got one again one error one errors on 7th he got two errors for uh, six he got zero errors so to calculate the contribution I will tell you the formula and we will convert the entire data into percentage so what I did I just selected the data and I just copy paste just near to that and I am just removing the uh, details which are available for 1st October to 7th October and I am keeping here divide formula so what two things I will divide here equal to I will select 1st October defect and I will divide, divide it with the grand total for the kunal so how many total error he received okay and then i got around 0 0.9 something again i will do f2 and uh, removing i just come move my cursor to uh, starting of this m5 and i'll click f4 so that th this cell will get freezed and remove the dollar from the uh, after this m in between of this m and 5 so i will freeze it uh, freeze it uh, this uh, particular data so that uh, 
it will get copy pasted and automatically the formula work for j vijay and everyone right so in this way you can freeze this otherwise uh, what he will do if we will copy paste the same without freezing the column for vijay also he will do divide by the grand total as 11 now what he will do he will not do the divide with the uh, with the total of 11 what he will do he will do the divide with 5 for the vijay so in this way i will uh, convert it into the i will divide it and what i will do i will select this entire data and go to home and click on percentage now you can guys see so if i want to check the 100 percent contribution here what i will what the data i will get so kunal did nine percent contribution for the fox october 45 percent contribution in the second october again nine percent nine percent and on 7th October, he did 18% of contribution. This is the error contribution. What Kunal did till 7th of September for his particular data. So in this way, I will get this data in percentage. It, it totally depends on you guys. If you don't want to convert it to percentage, you want to keep the rough data. You can keep it. It's totally up to you. And if you are converting into the percentage, uh, it will allow us to judge with the help of contribution. Now what I will do, I will select this first row and i will go to conditional formatting i will go to uh, rule set i will click on the first one now here this uh, this analysis is not showing correct because nine percent error it's showing down again for 45 percent it's showing in green that is not correct because these all are errors so i will just reverse it again i will select this entire row i will go to manage rules i will double click here on icon set uh, give me one minute So, uh, okay, you need to click on edit rule, click on reverse icon order, okay, apply, okay. Now you guys can see uh, it, uh, it completely got reverse which means for 1st October he got one error so it's showing in green. After that he got five errors which means obviously his score will get down. After that again he got some improvement and he is in 9. Same it got continues and for 7th of October he got again some errors like second 2 errors. So which means again uh, the performance got dip here. So in this way this trend will get generated. What I will do I will select this entire row. Click double click on format printer. Double click on format printer. And uh, give me one minute. Again I will select this click single click on format printer select the second row again select the second row click on format printer third row if you select the entire details right it will not work it will give you the wrong data so that is the reason step by step you need to do correct again select this uh, last row you can select any row but you need to select only one row and format printer same goes with here and format printer so in this way the trend has been generated guys you can see for Ramesh uh, 1st October 0 error 2nd October 0 3rd October 0 4th October he got one error so his performance showing in dip 5th October his performance is dip again for 6th and 7th he got zero errors so the performance is showing in up so in this way guys you can generate the trend analysis you can apply the same formula on numbers also you can apply on these numbers also that is not an issue it totally depends on you and your understanding guys so in this way you can do the trend analysis guys is it, this is very easy and you can apply it to your performance report and you can gauge your associate performance guys so i believe you got the correct information and if you still are confused with the uh, concept which i have explained to you you can reach out to me and you can uh, through the comments and please let me know if you want to know any more details over it and guys please do like share subscribe my channel like my video and suggest on which topic you just want the uh, video over it so that i can help you guys and uh, you can do your best on your current role and that's all guys thanks for watching uh, Thanks for watching the BPO interview tutorials guys.